understands and fear, so we must put our trust in God. Welcome to the Word of God Online. He knows our reasons why. That we sit and cry. Trust in God. Today's message is putting your whole trust in God from the Word of God um, online. And this is a daily online Bible study for May 23rd, 2009. Scripture readings are from the Living Bible, which is a paraphrase that was uh, put out in the 70s. And the scripture verse of the day is 1 Corinthians 10, 13. But remember this, the wrong desires that come into your life aren't anything new and different. Many others have faced the same problems before you, and no temptation is irresistible. You, can't, you can trust God to keep the temptation from becoming so strong that you can't stand up against it. For he has promised this and will do what he says. He will show you how to escape temptation's power so that you can bear up patiently against it. Scripture reading of the day is Romans 8, 31-39. What can we ever say to such wonderful things as these? If God is on our side, who can ever be against us? Since he did not spare even his own son for us, but gave him up for us all, won't he surely give us everything else? Who dares accuse us whom God has chosen for his own? Will God? No, he is the one who has forgiven us and giving us the right standing with themselves. Who then will condemn us? Will Christ? No. For he is the one who died for us and came back to life again and for us and is sitting at the place of the highest honor next to God, pleading for us there in heaven. Who then can ever keep Christ's love from us? When we have trouble or calamity, when we are hunted down or destroyed, it is because he doesn't love us anymore? And if we are hungry or penniless or in danger or threatened with death, has God deserted us? No, for the scriptures tell us that that for his sake we must be ready to face death at every moment of the day. We are like sheep awaiting slaughter. But despite all this, overwhelming victory is ours through Christ who loved us enough to die for us. For I am convinced that nothing can ever separate us from, the lo from his love. Death can't and life can't. The angels won't and all the powers of hell itself cannot keep God's love away. Our fears for today, our worries about tomorrow, or where we are, high above the sky or in the deepest ocean, nothing will ever be able to separate us from the love of God demonstrated by our Lord Jesus Christ when he died for us. Well, my response to this today is, so how do you know when you are putting your whole trust in God? I believe one of the ways you will know that when your faith is mature and developed is that when trouble comes your way, you will laugh at it. Now this may sound kind of silly as none of us like trouble and none of us are free from the pain of, on this earth through death and sickness, disease, financial stress and many other tests and trials that come our way. But the key here is understanding what God did for us and when he sent Jesus to the cross. I love the line uh, that says in the scripture above, nothing can separate us from his love. If we fully trust God and, and know that the love that he has for us and we trust God to keep the temptations in our life from becoming so strong that they will overcome us then we will come to a place where we can become more effective as a Christian there is no question that there were stages of development in your Christian life that you will go through and be tested in God has a plan for you and me but for him to execute that plan and to use us fully we must continue to grow in Christ and strengthen our faith one of the issues I've dealt with with my children on an ongoing basis is the issue of trust. Without trust, there is, was, there's very little else to build a relationship upon. When trust is broken and can be very difficult, can be very difficult to repair. I watched this as a senior in high school, which was a devastating year and a turning point in my life as I watched the trust break down in my own family and witnessed four divorces in one year. Most of these divorces all centered around the issue of trust. So I have hounded my children and worked very hard to explain to them the importance of trust and honesty. For a relationship to grow deeper, trust must be at the center of the strength of that relationship. And so goes our relationship with God. Trust is a two-way street. So I believe God will allow tests and trials to come into your life, not to cause pain, although at times it does, but to push your relationship deeper with Him through a level of trust that if God is for us, who can be against us? Remember, God has forgiven all our sins when we ask them to be forgiven, to forgive us and we, when we came to Jesus. 
he's not keeping a scorecard of our wrongs. Every one of us has wrong thoughts, and every one of us has done wrong actions and made some mistakes and sin. If you look at your life and you see a repetitive pattern of tests that are coming into your life, then I believe that either you or I have not trusted God in this situation. So growth and maturity will be halted until we overcome this test and we put our full trust in God and give Him glory every time when we pass through these steps or tests. This is, the, this is the maturity that each of us as Christians need to walk through. So don't be afraid to laugh at trouble and test and trials when they come in your way. For if God is for you, who can be against you? Brought to you by the Word of God Online. For more Bible readings and video readings and audio readings, you can go to uh, www.wordofgodonline.com. Have a great day.